When God is releasing the anointing of new things, what begins to happen? Your enemies, they start asking you to bless them. You start blessing your enemies. Those who are fighting you now, those who are laughing at you now, they will come and say, can you, I, need, I just need a loan. You're not getting it. You, be, you become a blessing even to your enemies. The same day when God said it, I'm doing a new thing in this month. In the same time, what began to happen? Pharaoh came to Moses. He said, Moses, please bless me. No, he didn't hear me. Do you understand how Pharaoh stubborn he was? He actually went to Moses and said, Moses, can you just give me, just touch my head. I need a blessing from you. Now we're going to read the same chapter and we're going to read verse 32. What does it say? Genesis 12, verse 32. Take your ship, goats and cattle, and leave. Also, pray for a blessing on me. Who's asking for that? Fellow. There's an anointing here that even your enemies they say, we can't hold your things. Remember, Pharaoh was holding their cattle, their sheep. He was holding them. He said, you know what? I cannot keep them. He said, take them and bless me. Do you know what's going to happen this season? If your job was being held back, if some demonic entities were keeping, holding your marriage, they will vomit it. I said they will vomit it. See the scripture there. It says what? What did he say? He said what? Take, take your sheep. Take your, your, your money. Take your, your promotion. I was holding it, but now I cannot hold it anymore. There is an anointing in the building. Yes. An anointing of new things. I receive. That everything the enemy was holding. Yes. Because of the judgment. Yes. He will release it and he will ask for a blessing. I receive. Mavahandeke po frahedeke. Jakia fahate, rakia fahando. Lazo fahate. Lashe frahindeke po us indi here. Marus. Marus pre integrate. Somebody send the name of Jesus. Whatsoever the enemy is keeping. Whatsoever the enemy is Whatsoever the enemy is holding. Whatsoever the enemy is holding. Say it is being released. It is being released. Say louder. It is being released. It is being released. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It is being released. It is being released. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Oh Lord. Let it be released tonight. Let it be released. If your mother is being held. Let your money come. If your miracle is being kept, let your miracle come now. Pray, 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 pray. Your promotion, your finances, your deliverance, your miracle. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Say amen. Amen. Something new. Somebody says something new. Something new. I said, number one, there is what? Judgment. Number two, you become a blessing and your enemy releases what he was holding for you. Whatsoever he was holding. I promise you, there are some demonic entities there. There's someone that apply for jobs, they can't get it. Because somewhere there is a system and a formula that it says you will never be employed. There are people who are actually trying. I'll get married. They get disappointments because there's a system that says you'll never find a serious man. And I'm telling you, when God says I'm doing a new thing, he can't just sit and leave you like that in suspense. So God, he begins to release things. Number one, judgment. He begins to judge whatsoever is around you until it says I can't keep it anymore. I am releasing a miracle. Number three. Are you ready for this one? Oh, yes. we are ready. No, you're not ready for this one. 
No, no, no. What I'm about to tell you now. You see, those people who don't want money, it's not for you. Anyone else who is too spiritual, you know the people who are too spiritual. They say, no, you can't be teaching about money. In, but, it, but they are working and they get a salary. <laughs> Hypocrites. <laughs> ah, hey, in the church, no, hallelujah. These men of God, they preach about prosperity. But you are working. Are you okay? <laughs> Leave money alone. What we know is the love of money is the one that is the root of all evil. We don't love money. We don't love it. Lo money loves us. But what I'm about to tell you now, you ready for this one? Oh, yes. Number three, when, when God is doing a new thing, he releases money in your life like you've never seen. I there see. is financial release. I see. I'm going to show you a scripture that's going to blow your mind. Immediately when God said, this month, what I'm going to do it shall be the month of all months. What happened? Same night, not the following day. Banks were closed, but see the scripture. No, I, I want to show you something here. You ready for this one? You, you will not get you not ready for this one. Are you ready for this one? Hmm. Hmm. In verse 35 to 36. What does it say? The, the Israelites. All right, let me just read this quickly. Had done as but, Moses had right. said. Let me just read this quickly. All right. The Israelites, and I will, I will be stopping this one I read myself. The Israelites, now where there's a word Israelites, I want you to put your name there. Come on. Who? Had done as Moses said, and had asked the Egyptians for gold and silver, jewelry, and for clothes. In verse 36, it says what? The Lord made the Egyptians respect who? And give them what they asked for. In this way, the Israelites carried away the worth. Someone shout worth transfer. There was an anointing of respect. The Bible says they respected them. Imagine that they were slaves. Imagine you were a slave to them. Overnight, they began to what? To respect them. Ah, yes, madam. People who were laughing at you, they will respect you. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. There's an anointing of twisting events. What was happening the following morning was a new thing. It has never happened. Where the Egyptians respect the people of Israel. It has never happened. It was the people of Israel respecting Egyptians. But process, systems, formulas, protocols changed overnight. The people who were respecting them began to be respected. When they are walking like this, oh yes, sir, do you need anything? The Bible says they, they began to give them things. I have got 10 kilograms of gold. Do you want it? No, it's what the Bible is saying that we just read it. It says they gave them gold. Oh, I'm talking to somebody right here. It says the Israelites had done as Moses had said and had asked the Egyptians for gold and silver. All these things were being given to them. He said, um, uh, sir, do you need a contract? I've got some gold to give you. They never, I, I'm talking to somebody right here. Wherever you'll be putting your proposals, a new thing is coming. Whatsoever you'll be applying, a new thing is coming. Whatsoever you'll be writing, a new thing is coming. Whatsoever you'll be applying for, a new thing is coming. Somebody shout a new thing. A new thing. It is an anointing that God released. When the anointing was released, the new things began to happen. Now, that's not enough. I want to show you something else. On the same verse, on the same issue that we're dealing with right now. Hmm. So I'm here. I'm here. Say it again. Say I'm here. I am here, prophet. You're still here, right? Yes. Hmm. 
there was a special favor. This favor, on the same point we're talking about of money, this favor, the Bible says, whatsoever Israelites asked to say, I wanted this, the Bible says the Egyptians gave it. Now imagine, imagine, in those days, it says, whatsoever they what requested from Egyptians, Egyptians what? Gave them. Now go back to the verse, in the verse 35. It says what? The Israelites had done as Moses had said, and had asked the Egyptians asked, okay. for gold uh -huh. and silver jewel uh -huh. and for clothes. In verse 36, when they asked anything, what, what was happening? The Lord made the Egyptians respect the people and give them what they asked for. Do you know there is someone here you asked for a contract? They never gave it to you. This anointing will make them to respect you, to respect your company, and they will give you what you are asking for. I receive. There are people who are asking for a job, and they're not getting it. This anointing will make the people where you applied it, they will respect you and give you the what? The contract. It is an anointing that will make people whatsoever you're asking. Imagine you're asking the bank, you say, I need, I need 40 billion. The bank says, ah, no, get it again tell them again if you have one say i am in a month i am in a month that will become a month of all months that will become a month of all months i receive <laughs> the scripture says what this shall be a month of what it doesn't matter so he says from now this one this one what i'm going to do in this one he says it shall be a new month he says it shall be a new month Imagine whatsoever they were asking, they were being given. No denial. They were never rejected to every request. They will request, I need this contract. Get it. I need this project. Get it. They go to a bank, I need a loan of 40 billion. The bank was releasing it. They even went in, in shops. They even went into what? Fashion. It's there. The scriptures there. He said they even went into fashion. <laughs> Jewelry, everything they needed. He said they opened shops, everything. Oh, we needed this, uh, get it. <laughs> Designer. <laughs> Anything they needed at that period, the Bible says God made them to respect. Do you know what happens when God makes them to respect your company, to respect your name, to respect who you are? Anything you want, they'll give it to you. How God can make you rich. Go back on verse 35. I want you to check the message. Translation. Because somebody is not getting it properly. The Israelites had already done what Moses had told them. They had asked the Egyptians for silver and gold things and clothing. Go ahead. God saw to eat that the Egyptians liked the people and so readily gave them what they asked for. Oh yes, they picked those Egyptians clean. It says, God saw it to eat. God saw to eat that the Egyptians liked the people. Imagine God made sure that the Egyptians loved the people. God will make sure that people who you want to get something will just, just I think I think I just like your project. I like your idea. <laughs> I like your idea. Am I telling somebody here? Say God saw to it. Now see that. God saw to it that the Egyptians liked the people and, and so readily gave them what they asked they asked for. Exactly. Oh yes. They picked those Egyptians clean. Uh, I'm talking to somebody who's watching me right now. This is your time. I'm telling you, this is your time. God is releasing an anointing. The anointing of new things. Say the anointing of new things. Say new things. New things. New things. New things. 
in NIV, same scripture. We'll be stopping there. NIV. And on Friday, we'll continue more, more points. The Lord had made the Egyptians favorably disposed toward the people. And they gave them what they asked for. So they plundered the Egyptians. They plundered. The way you're going to get money. The way man will be cheap. I'm not talking to some, I'm prophesying to somebody right now. The Lord is going to release an anointing of worth. 